Hey, welcome to my kitchen. My name is Emily Good. I do primarily post bookish videos on here, but I am also a yoga instructor. I am about to go on a sort of maternity leave because I will be giving birth to a little baby here in a few weeks. And I have been asked multiple times by the women who come to my classes to make more strengthening videos. So ladies, here you are. Welcome. I'm so happy to have you. If you're from the YouTube world, uh, welcome. I am happy to have you. I have already posted a video of um, like a daily yoga practice. I definitely recommend warm up before doing this one. Um, hopefully it's going to go pretty quickly. So it's definitely the most important to allow your body time to warm up. Don't, um, don't be trying to force your body to do anything it's not ready to do. Um, if throughout any of these, uh, this is definitely something to build upon. This is something to practice a few times a week. If you feel good after doing this first round, this video, go ahead and do it again. Um, do it three, four, five times a week, maybe. Um, but on rest days that you need rest, rest. If during times that I'm queuing, it's all an invitation here. So if anything feels like, oh my gosh, I cannot do this, I cannot hold this, um, come out of it. Just go ahead and come out of it. Uh, you know me if you've ever practiced with me before. Everything I'm saying is just an invitation to you. Go ahead and do it. Try it. Come down if you need to. Take a little pause. Come back up when you're ready. Come back tomorrow and do it again. And I promise you, you will be shocked at what your body can manage. Um, so let's do this together. Again, thank you so much for being here. I am happy to have you. Let's get started. Okay, so these first two things are going to be kind of um, strengthening the core. So we have this video is going to be broken up into three different things. There's going to be a couple poses for core strength. There's going to be a couple poses for arm strength. And there's going to be a couple poses for leg strength. All very important. Um, so this is going to be kind of good for everything. So let's go ahead and get started. First things first, we're going to do core strength. So um, core strength is not just trying to uh, like get that six pack, um, <laughs> which I am not working on right now, but what we're trying to do here is really hit deeper in. It's good for our lower back. If you find yourself having a lot of lower back pain, work on your core strength. Um, it, it will probably help. So um, let's go ahead and do boat pose. So go ahead, get on your mat, go ahead and um, bring your heels to the mat. Go ahead and extend those arms out. You might have your palms facing towards the ceiling. When you're ready, go ahead, lean back, straighten out those legs. Um, you might have your legs up higher. You might have them here like this. You might have them bent. Um, find what works for you and breathe we're gonna hold this for five rounds of breath so just allow yourself to breathe excellent go ahead and release out of that Breathe, breathe the whole time. Um, when you're shaking, that is good. That means that you're working. Um, invite that fire in. It's gonna feel tough. It's gonna feel uncomfortable probably. Um, <laughs> but again, this, especially boat pose, is hitting deeper into the abs than like um, traditional sit-ups. So um, if you need to come out of it, come out of it and then just come back once you've um, rested long enough. So we're actually gonna do that two more times. You can totally do it. We're gonna hold it for five breaths each time. I am not at a place where I am going to be talking <laughs> during these. You'll hear my breath, breathe with me um, or breathe at a pace that feels best for you. Do what you need to do. Let's go ahead and do it. Excellent. 
go ahead and enjoy this rest period. Give your belly a little rub maybe if you want. If that's not your thing, then don't. Everything I say is an invitation. I'm happy you're here. I'm happy that you showed up. I'm happy that you are working things out. Um, let's go ahead and do that third round. You can totally do it. Hold it for two breaths and then come down. Hold it for the full five and then come down. Do whatever you need to do. So let's go ahead and do that now. Breathe with me. job let's just go ahead and move right into the next one we are going to do a sort of hovering tabletop which also is going to work our arms as well um so yeah this is just all around goodness so go ahead find yourself in tabletop if you're not familiar with tabletop your fingertips are spread out those wrists are directly underneath the shoulders knees are directly underneath the hips and let's Go ahead, not waste any time, press into um, the tops of those feet, lifting those knees an inch off the ground, hold for five rounds of breath. Excellent. So what you might feel happening, um, probably the preference would be to really feel those core muscles really um, strengthening around. Um, <laughs> so yeah, we're really working on the core. We're working on the arm strength here. Um, so let's go ahead and do it again. Again, at any point you need to release, let those knees come down. We're just holding it for five rounds of breath. Really breathe through it. Invite that fire in here. You can definitely do it. Go ahead and lift now. Excellent. I don't know about you, but I'm also kind of feeling that in my legs too. So maybe we're hitting all three. Um, who knows? Enjoy your little resting pose. You deserve it. Uh, do whatever you need. If it's not comfortable for you to be up on your knees like this, go ahead and sit on your bottom. Do it. Ah, excellent. One final time, hovering tabletop. Let's do it together. Now. job okay we did our core strength um, okay so now we are going to move into arm strength so let's go ahead we're gonna do two 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 movements here again go ahead and come to your right hip here so if you have sensitive wrists here, go ahead and press into your fist. Um, we are gonna do a side plank here. So go ahead and kind of um, find yourself kind of walking those legs out. Um, maybe you lift up here just to kind of get yourself ready. So we're gonna straighten out those legs. Go ahead and lift up now. 
maybe you lift up that left hand. I apologize, you can't see my whole body. Um, <laughs> I'm doing my best here. We're gonna hold for three, for five rounds of breath. So do three more. Really lifting those hips up towards the ceiling. Excellent. We're just gonna move right into the other side. So go ahead and move to your left side now. Walking those feet out, get there however you get there. Um, I don't really have a super seamless way of cueing it, but um, just get there however you get there. And then breathe with me, hold it for five rounds of breath. So really pressing into either that hand or that fist, totally your choice. Come down as you need to, um, this is a lot. Um, but go ahead and lift. Breathe. Slowly lower down. And we're just going to move right over to the other side. The beautiful thing about doing one side and then the other, you're kind of getting a rest. Um, so go ahead and meet me on the right side. Again, all these movements, we're just doing three rounds. <laughs> so go ahead and lift when you're ready. Finding yourself there, however you find yourself. Other side you can definitely do it um, if this does feel like too much though and you still want to do something um, you could be on your knee here and just maybe try to switch off coming up maybe wherever you're at just hold Excellent. We're going to go to the other side. Final round. We can do it. Excellent. Excellent. One more time. Um, this is a lot. Again, you're putting all of your weight onto that one arm um, plus the feet, but um, it's, it's, you know, it's not super easy. So if you need to come down, do it. Do it. This is our first day, maybe. If you're back, welcome back. Oh, wonderful. Good job. <laughs> okay, let's move on to dolphin pose. This is not only good for our arm strength, this is really good for our shoulders, opening up in our shoulders. Um, so go ahead, press into those forearms here, and we're going to lift our hips up. You might walk them forward a little bit holding for five rounds of breath. It is hard for me to do inversions right now, so I invite you to release now. Take a rest. Um, you might hear, go ahead and widen out those knees, bring those big toes together. Take a little uh, extended child's pose. That might be nice for your body that you're working so hard. Mm. 
Good. When you're ready, go ahead and lift back up. Breathing. Releasing down, go ahead. Feel free to widen out those knees. Bring those big toes together. We have one more. And then we're on to our final two movements. I hope you're enjoying. All right, go ahead and press up one final time. You can do it. Your shoulders will thank you. This is also great for if you're working on like um, kind of elbow stands, getting close to headstands if you're working on that. Uh, this is a great prep pose, maybe walking your feet up a little bit more. Release down. Line up those knees, reach those hands forward, enjoy that stretch. Excellent. When you're ready, let's go ahead and press up to downward facing dog. Sending those hips up, really pressing into those fingertips. Go ahead and kick that right leg back. Bring it up and through. We are going to meet in a high lunge. I'm sorry, you can't see my face. Um, I have you on the ground right now. So we're pressing into the back part of that leg. Um, maybe you can bring that heel down. It's not in my practice right now. I'm pressing into this front foot and I'm pressing into the pad of my back foot. You might have your hands on your hips here. You might have them extended towards the sky. Breathe. This looks super simple. We are really um, invigorating those legs. We are cultivating lots of strength for the legs here. Go ahead and hold for two more full rounds of breath. Go ahead, when you're ready, go ahead and ease up, coming to bring those legs together. And we're just gonna move right in. Step that right leg back this time. So finding yourself in a nice high, high lunge. Um, if we have maybe not the best balance, find a wall, find a chair. Rely on that to help you. Extend those arms if you would like to. Otherwise, you can have them on your, on your hips. When you're ready, go ahead and bring that foot up to meet. I'm just gonna maybe fix that just a little bit, maybe. I don't know how that would work. Go ahead and step that left leg back. Straightening that out, finding that 90 degree bend. Maybe if that feels good for you, pressing into that front heel, pressing into the back part of that back leg, that straightened leg. Maybe you extend those arms up. Feel that fire happening in the legs. We are getting stronger. Excellent, when you're ready, go ahead and slowly Step that leg back up. Let's do the other side. So good for the legs. Holding for three more rounds of breath. Up. 
And I think we have one more round on each side. Um, so go ahead and step that left leg back, lifting those arms up. Three more full rounds of breath. When you're ready, go ahead and bring that foot back up. Other side, one more time. Stepping that right leg back, straightening it out as best you can really bending into that knee, that front knee. Excellent. Go ahead and slowly bring that up. We just have one more movement. Um, we're going to do a single leg chair pose. Um, so it's gonna be a little bit, um, we, we um, are going to be cultivating our balance here. So if you do need a chair, um, go ahead and grab one or go to a wall that's totally um, your choice. <laughs> so go ahead, slowly find a little squat. Legs maybe um, hip width apart. And go ahead, when you're ready, extending out that right leg. Might help if you are doing it. I'm away from a wall. Find a spot in front of you. Really pressing into the heel of that standing foot. Three more rounds of breath. Good for balance, good for the booty. Um, let's go ahead and do the other side. Finding chair pose. And when you're ready, go ahead <laughs> and kick out. Taking your time, again, finding that spot in front of you really tapping into your core strength here, pressing into that standing heel. Three more rounds of breath. Slowly lowering down. Excellent, we are going to do that two more times on each side. Go ahead and take a breath here if you need. <laughs> I definitely should have tried to film these videos earlier. I apologize for my loud breathing. Or I guess I shouldn't apologize for breathing. Breathe, I, I allow myself to breathe and I invite you to breathe. Okay, we can do this. Breathe, we can always come down. No. Well, and the kids are sitting outside in the car. <laughs> okay, finding that chair pose. Extending that right. Oh. If we need a chair, use it. You are no less of a yogi if you need to use a chair. I'm going to allow myself that grace here. Extending that right leg out. Pressing into that heel of that standing foot. Taking two more full rounds of breath. Excellent. Coming back. Let's go ahead and move into the opposite leg. 
breathe. Check in with those shoulders, check in with that jaw. Excellent. One more time on each side. We can totally do it and then we are almost, and then we are done. Nice bend in that standing leg, nice and strong. Excellent. One more time. Finding that that um, squat. Lifting. Excellent. <laughs> ha, we did it. Excellent job. Um, if you do come to my classes and you have a way to message me, please do. If you do not come to my classes but you found this video on YouTube, um, thanks for being here. There are a billion other yoga teachers on there who might have more aesthetically pleasing backgrounds, who might not be pregnant, who... Um, might be better at some poses. I definitely appreciate you showing up here. Um, I definitely appreciate you. I'm, I'm happy for you to um, show up for yourself. And I will see you next time. Bye.